Rangers from all across the armed forces competed in the 31st annual David E. Grange Best Ranger competition. These rangers are the elite among soldiers and the most physically fit in the world. To get through 75 miles of this competition, they'll need strength and strategy. The idea of day one, essentially it's a race to the foot march, and the foot march will be a mass start, and so there's a benefit to being up front. If you hit there first, you get the most time to rest, giving you a benefit going into the foot march. Teams who are lagging behind will get there late and eventually have to start the foot march right when they show up to the event, giving them a disadvantage. And so you want to go as hard as you can, but at the same time you can't burn yourself out because you do have two more days after this. The training is pretty intense and then we, we both make a pack working together that we're going to leave everything here so that no, no loose ends. Our train up has been just several different exercises leading into this, so everything all comes together now. Going into day one, Rangers face a full body workout as they burn through an eight mile buddy run and head straight into the Malvesti obstacle course. It's going to test a lot of their upper body strength, upper body endurance. You know, a lot of rope climbing, a lot of pull ups, uh, horizontal ladders, things like that. It's not in the best Ranger competition every year, but it's something that we chose to put in this year, and I think it's going to be a really good challenge. And it's already claimed a couple of victims this year. Moving out of Malvesti, day one keeps it non stop. Rangers make a two-mile dash to Victory Pond where they'll face a 630-meter swim to the water confidence course. This course will test their confidence and ability to negotiate heights. While testing their cardiovascular stamina from these back-to-back -back events. Determining who has the will to forge ahead. Feeling pretty smoked, but we're doing good. Did a buddy run this morning, then we did Malvesti, then we did another buddy run, and then we swam the lake. So it's been a tough morning. After a morning full of intense physical activity, Rangers must now demonstrate control. As they move into a stress chute, well, they'll have to switch from grip strength to finesse. Three, two, one, go! Carrying the, the litters and the sked coast, you know, requires a lot of grip strength. And then when you, you do that and you transition into your weapon system where you have to be more gentle with that to you know, place accurate shots on your targets, uh, it, it requires a lot of mental focus but at the same time, uh, self-control as well. With four teams already out of the competition, competitors are feeling the effects of this non-stop exertion. Only hours away, day two will reveal how many have lasted the night and who can gut it out. Melissa Bell. Fort Benning TV.